Hi guys, I know, I promised you guys I was going to make a video how I met Luna, <clears throat> but it's not because I got sick or something bad happened, it's just, I've been f feeling really depressed lately, and <clears throat> it, it, I have never really felt deep depression ever in my life. Like, I felt depression at school, not because I was bullied or anything, or bad stuff happened to me. It's just, you know, school work, and then, you know, senior year, and that's where you get hit by depression and stuff. But, um, I've been really feeling depressed. Let me fix my angle of my life, because I'm down here. Like, hi, I'm here. Well, I should do this more often. This is a really good angle. <clears throat> but anyway, um, <clears throat> I can't speak today, um, <clears throat> I'll tell you that in a little bit, why about that in a little bit, but I've been feeling really depressed lately. It's not really a very deep and sticky depression, it's more like a lightweight depression, but at the same time it's just hovering over your head, like, really high, basically, <laughs> um, it's nothing bad, it's just, well, it's mainly, sorry, sorry I'm not looking at you, I'm being entertained by a few things on my desk, but <clears throat> it's mainly boyfriend-wise. Yeah, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but I only, in my whole entire life, I only had two decent boyfriends in my, in my whole entire life. Two Decent. Well, I mean, decent. I mean, they were really good until they decided to break up with me. And it's been really depressing because everybody, I mean, everybody's getting a boyfriend and I'm just sitting here like, like everybody has been, has been through a good or has been good, has been good, has been, has gone through a relationship that has lasted them for a long time. I'm sitting here like, this is kitty. This is not kitty. This is childish relationship I'm, that I've been going through. I need an actual, like, good relationship. And honestly, it's been like, no. It's been like, no, you're not ready for it. No, you're not ready for it. I'm 20, almost 21. And my, my, some of you might say, oh, you have plenty of time, you're still young, and this and this and this. You have a whole life ahead of you. I'm just like, no, I don't. Don't tell me I have a whole life ahead of me. I could die tomorrow. And it's not like, oh, I need a boyfriend, I need a boyfriend. No, it's mainly, it's like, when is going to be my turn to have a boyfriend I can have, that I can literally say I have enjoyed with, even if we broke up and everything. And that I literally can literally say, I enjoyed being with him. That did not last for three months, two or one, or even a week or so, or even a day. That's all, That's how long it's ever lasted for me, from either dating or being in a relationship. That's how it's been for me. And some of you might say, oh, some, some other people have it worse. Yeah, some other people have it worse, but I'm talking about me, not them. If they need comfort, hey, I'm here for them. Always. But I'm right now I'm talking about me and their situation is not gonna help my situation. And my situation is not gonna help theirs. So whatever you do, do not say people have it harder than me. Because honestly, unless we're literally Oh, that's my thing. <laughs> unless we're literally living right next to each other in the same town, we cannot help each other. So stop saying that. Please and thank you. <clears throat> and yes, I have a long way ahead of me. I'm only 20, almost 21. And I have a long way ahead of me. And yeah, 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 yeah. But you don't know that. I could die tomorrow in a car accident. God forbid. But I honestly, I could just die in an accident. Or a plane could just drop out, have malfunction and land on top of my house. Or I could get banned by a rattlesnake out of the middle of nowhere. Or I could just die from a terrible disease. God knows. 
God forbid any of that from happening, but it's true. Don't say I have a long way to live when, when I actually don't. I can actually die any time. It's truth, honestly. And for those of you who say, oh, um, you need to get your life to straighten out. I'm sorry, but what do you call your life straightened out? I'm a 20-year-old guy who has a diploma who graduated from high school. I have a car. And I'm for the thankful of my parents. I'm still living under their roof. They're helping me out with my um, car insurance. Because, hey, that's ridiculously high. Um, I literally have everything I ever wanted in my life in my room right now. Like, honestly, posters, sweaters, paintings, a queen-size bed. With an amazing palette, by the way. Um, but yeah, it's like, I need to get my life together. How? My job? I have a nine-hour paying job. That's almost going to be $11 an hour. It's still in debate. So I don't know what, like, what you mean, get my life together. Do I have to live on my own to get my life together? To be happy to have my life together, I should say. Should I live alone? Should I have been in an apartment with a with a partner or a, a best friend? I don't know what you mean by that. And honestly, my sisters have said, "Oh, like don't be in a rush and blah blah blah." It's not that I'm a rush. It's just like, when is it my turn to pretty much be happy in my life? And I won't say I'm not happy, but honestly, it hits you when you're single. When you're single and you see every single of your friends having a good relationship. Now, honestly, me and my sister Nicole is back into a relationship with a, a guy. To be honest, he's not really that attractive. Maybe he has, like, work clothes, but still. He's a really good, decent guy, and honestly, I'm happy for her. And Rachel's been with a good guy, too. And all my other friends are literally having either dating somebody or they're in a relationship. And I'm sitting here like a freaking duck waiting for me to be much. No, I'm, in, I'm like a puppy in a box ready to be adopted, basically. So it's like, it's not like when's it my turn to have a boyfriend. It's more like when can I start being happy? Because honestly, the last time I ever felt actually happy in a relationship was my last relationship online, which... I have actually dated online before for a very long time. <clears throat> My last relationship online lasted almost a full year before he broke up with me. And I was honestly happy. We we actually used Skype to pretty much look at, see each other. And when he literally pissed me off or I was sad for a reason, he found a way to pretty much make me smile. I don't mean like, no, I actually, just teeth showing, laughing my guts out. That's how I smiled. He always told me good night. And when he saw me awake, he always says good morning. He also keeps a good, decent religion. Do good, decent conversation. Like, I'm cooking this and this and this. I'm just like, can you cook for me? Because I don't know how to cook. No, this. And honestly, I was planning ahead. But at the same time, he actually wanted to, to do, like, move in together, too. I was actually happy. I want to feel that way again with a person. I'm actually, I'm waiting for it to pretty much be my turn to be out there. Not showing off my boyfriend, but honestly, like, going to somebody and just let go of all the crap that's on my shoulders and just be like, it's okay. It's fine. It's not that I need somebody to love me. I have my friends who love me. I have my family that loves me. I have a I have a dog who loves me even though she doesn't really show it. Like love I already have. Um it's not a need of a boyfriend. Honestly, the boyfriend boyfriend relationship doesn't honestly it actually ends unless you guys get plan to get married and then well you guys get married. It's just been a really depressing thing, cause well, give me one second. Yeah. That was an ugly face. Cough, like, please forgive me. It's been 
It's not that I need a boyfriend or I'm needy or like I want one, I want one, I want one, like it's a toy. No. It's just I want to. F I want it. I want it to be my turn to pretty much be happy again, like that. It's all the truth. All I see my friends in a relationship. One of my friends who is still in high school is not in a relationship with a guy who who I know who graduated like a year ahead of me, and I'm just like, the fuck. When is it my turn? And I'm not saying this to get more views or subscribers. Honestly, I prefer you. I, I'm literally happy that I have you guys who have subscribed to me and still are subscribed. <clears throat> because if I if I'm doing this to pretty much get more subscribers or anything, I'm not gonna. F I want. I wouldn't say I won't feel good. Well, I wouldn't say that either. It's like. It's not me, I sh I'm mean, gonna point it out like that. It's not me to pretty much be like, oh, I'm depressed. Please subscribe because, you know, I'm depressed. No, I get depressed too. I don't have to be a famous YouTuber to get depressed. No, I get depressed too. I'm depressed over the fact that I'm still single after two freaking years, which it's not bad in some cases, but it's like, it feels like an eternity for me. And then I have a credit card I have to pay. I have a job that I have to wake up four or five in the morning to go to um i don't get to hang out with any of my friends anymore i don't hang out with my sisters anymore because they're working and my friends are working and everyone's busy and I, honestly last saturday i was planning to pretty much record how i met luna because i was either gonna be re recording with or without luna being in the house she didn't come so i was like waiting for it but it just it hit me so it hit me like a brick wall or a wooden wall I should say that you're single everybody is pretty much busy with something and I'm sitting here bored out of my damn mind bored out of my damn mind just bored and also I get I was planning to pretty much clean my room I was planning to switch some things up in here. Pretty much to look, make it look pretty and clean my car for once in my life. But it's like I'm sitting here, bored in my mind, dying of boredom. Which I could have been recorded, but I was not in the feeling. Like, you know, in the thought of it. And if I'm not in a good mood to record, you guys are going to see it. And I don't want you guys to see it. It's like really, really bad. And again, I'm not saying I'm depressed because I want to get more you more people to subscribe. No, I want you guys to subscribe because either one, you actually like my channel. Or two, you guys are interested in my channel. Or three, you want to meet me and pretty much make out with me. Yeah. Or show with me. Just letting you know I'm gay, so females, I'm terribly sorry. I'll give you a peck on the cheek or lips, but as a full, I'll make it out. So. You guys, you're available. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> but, yeah. I mean, YouTuber who's starting, and I, yeah, I feel depression too. I'm depressed. I'll tell you what the things I'm depressed about, and just to make this video short. I'm depressed about not having a boyfriend. I'm depressed about not having so much views. And subscribers. I, lo I love you guys. The ones who are subscribed. But honestly it's like. I've been here since. What 2014-ish. Or 15-ish. And. I know it's a process. But it's like. I expect at least 50 by now. Um, I'm depressed because I have to keep paying a lot of things. Which I know it's life. But it's like. I just. <laughs> I like to have some money in my savings account. And still have money in my check-ins account. Um, I'm depressed I have to go to work. I'm depressed when my dog leaves from my house because I love her so much and I love her when she's in the house. So it's like a lot of things been going on and some of it is affecting my recording and talking to you guys and everything, but most of it just affects me entirely and it's like... I don't feel like doing anything anymore. Still going to YouTube and everything, but I don't know where I'm going with this. I just feel depressed and sad and all that stuff. 
and I was thinking about it to tell you guys because honestly, you guys, you guys have seen me not. <laughs> you guys have seen my late videos, and honestly, if I was you guys, I'll be kind of like, "The fuck are you doing?" I'll be pissed off. I'll be pissed off as well. So, and it's like, I may not like it, but. It's the right thing to, to do. It's the right thing to like. It's the right thing to do to let you guys know, English, <laughs> English. But yeah, that's been going on. If this video video made any sense, <sighs> I will be recording how I met Luna, the first time, and a bunch of other videos. Cause I have a list out here of what other videos I'm gonna be doing. So. Hopefully by the time you see me next time, my hair will be blue. But until next time, I'll love you. I love you guys. I'll catch you guys later.